All right, let's uh, work through assignment number eight. So number one says an, arith an arithmetic sequence is given below. Uh, 4, 7, 10, 13, et cetera. Write an explicit formula for the nth term a sub n. So for an explicit formula, you're gonna start with a sub n is equal to, and then um, figure out what the common difference is. So what are we adding? Or subtracting each time to get to the next uh, term. So we can see uh, from 4 to 7 we have to add 3, 7 to 10 we're adding 3. So our common difference is 3, positive 3 since it's going up. And then it's going to be, so it's going to be 3 times n plus um, whatever this term would be here, the what I call the zero term, the term right in front of that first term. So if we continued this pattern backwards, we can see we're subtracting three, then subtracting three, subtract three. If we subtracted three again, we'd come up, we'd be at one. So this zero term here would be one. So that's what we're gonna add to here. So, um, so in our box down here, we're gonna say that a sub n is equal to three n plus one. All right. Um, problem number two, an arithmetic sequence, uh, 25, 20, 15, 10. So again, same type of thing. We've got a sub n is equal to uh, the common difference. Here you can see we're subtracting five each time. So the common difference is negative five times n. And then the, the zero term out here would be if we added five to 25, we'd get plus 30. So our, our formula is a sub n equals negative five n plus 30. Right. And uh, all right, so next write a recursive formula for the following arithmetic sequence. So with a recursive formula, we're always gonna start off by telling you what the first term is. So a sub one equals, and all you have to do is just read off this first term. a sub one equals negative four. And then we're gonna say that a sub n is equal to, so the nth term, whatever term you're trying to find after this first term, uh, you're gonna look to the previous term. So the previous term, if, if you're trying to find a sub n, the previous term is a sub n minus one. And then uh, what do you have to do to the previous term to get the next term? Well, here you can see that you've got to subtract six. Uh, you're subtracting six each time there. So, um, so this is gonna be a sub n minus one minus six. Um, all right, so let's, Let's put that in here. A sub one is equal to negative four. A sub n is going to be equal to um, a sub n minus one minus six. All right. Next, the recursive formula for this sequence. So Again, we're going to start off by saying what the first term is. The first term is 13. And then all terms after that are going to be, well, here we're, we're subtracting 5 to get to the next term. So it's going to be the previous term, a sub n minus 1, uh, minus 5. So a sub 1 equals 13. a sub n equals um, a sub n minus one minus five. Okay. Next, compute the sums below. Okay, so now we're getting into series and we're having to add up these problems. So remember that our formula um, for the sum 
of a series with n terms is um, the the sum of a series with n terms is equal to n divided by two times the first term plus the last term a sub n. Um, so here for this first one, we know uh, we don't know how many terms are in this series yet. We'll figure that out. Um, but we know that the first term is negative six, and the last term is 514. Um, and so um, we, in order to figure out how many terms there are, we need to first figure out uh, what the explicit formula for this uh, series is here. So we can see that uh, the, uh, so our a sub n is equal to um, the common difference. So what we're doing each time is we're adding, uh, it's like we're adding four. So it's going to be four n. Uh, and then the zero term, if we subtracted four from negative six would be negative 10. So four n minus 10 is how we're finding uh, each term. So what we need to do is set this four n minus 10 uh, equal to 514, the last term. And then that will tell us um, how many terms there are in this series. So if we add 10 to both sides, we get that 4n is equal to 524. So n is equal to 524 divided by 4. Uh, which is 131. So now we can plug that in over here, 131 divided by two uh, is gonna be 65 and a half times negative six plus 514 is 508. And 508 times 65.5, is gonna be um, 33,274. So let's put that up here, 33,274, all right. Next, um, for this one, when, we're, when we have this sigma notation here, um, it, the formula is going to be the same, s sub n equals n over 2 times a sub 1 plus a sub n. Um, but for this one, we we know what n is, uh, because n is just going to be this number here. We're starting at 1, so if we're going from term 1 to term 112, there's going to be 112 terms in this series. So we've got 112 divided by 2 times and here's where we need to do some calculations. So uh, to figure out what the first term is, we're gonna plug in one. So negative two times one is um, negative two plus seven is five. So the first term is gonna be five. And then the nth term, the 112th term, uh, plug in 112. So negative two times 112 is, um, negative 224 plus seven is gonna be negative 217. Um, and so if we, 100, 112 divided by two is 56 times five minus 217, that's negative 212. And that's going to be equal to negative 11,872. So we're going to come up here and uh, enter negative 11,872. No, oh, they wanted me to put a comment in there. 
but uh, the answer is correct. All right. Number six, compute the sums below. Assume that the terms in the first sum are consecutive terms in an arithmetic sequence. Okay, so uh, same thing with this one. Uh, S sub n is equal to n over two times a sub one plus a sub n. And in this case, we've got something over two. We don't know what how many terms there are yet. Uh, the first term is 9, the last term is 391. Uh, so to figure out n, the, uh, the explicit formula is going to be a sub n equals, uh, the common difference is negative 4 times n, and then the zero term would be 13, plus 13. Um, and so we're going to set that equal to uh, negative 391 and then solve for n. So subtract 13 from both sides, you get negative 4n is equal to negative 391 minus 13 is negative 404. And then if we divide both sides by negative 4, we get n is equal to 101. So that's what we stick in right there. 101 divided by 2 is 50.5 times uh, 9 minus 391 is negative 382. And plug that into our calculator. Uh, 50.5 times negative 382 is uh, negative 19,000. 291. Let's go up here. Comma in there. All right. Next, we've got, so again, S sub n is equal to n divided by 2 times a sub 1 plus a sub n. Um, and here our n is 141. Uh, our first term, if we plugged in one here, we get negative five plus 13, so that's eight. And the last term, 141 times negative five is negative 705 plus 13 is negative 692. And so this is going to be 70.5 times 8 minus 692 would be negative 684. So we get negative 48,222. Uh, so negative 48,222. All right, last one. So once again, we're computing the sum. So this is S sub n equals n over 2 times a sub 1 plus a sub n. So that is something over 2. We need to figure out the n times the first term, which is 2, plus the last term, which is negative 212. Um, OK, so here we're subtracting 2 each time. So our a sub n is equal to negative 2n. And then the 0 term would be 4, so plus 4. So negative 2n plus 4, we're going to set that equal to negative, negative 212. Subtract 4 from each side, so you get negative 2n is equal to negative 216. 
So n is equal to, if we divide both sides by negative 2, uh, 108. And so that's what goes here, 108. 108 divided by 2 is 54 times 2 plus negative 2, 212 is negative 210. Negative 210 times 54 is negative 11,340. Let's put that in there, negative 11,340. All right. And then so once again, I'm going to put this S of N equals N over 2 times A sub 1 plus A sub N. And uh, here we know that the N is 94. Uh, A sub 1, if we plug in 1 for J here, we get uh, 3 times 1 is 3 plus 2 is 5. And then 94, if we plug in 94 for 3, sorry, 94 for j, so 94 times 3 uh, plus 2 is 284. So 94 divided by 2 is 47 uh, times 5 plus 284 is 289. And so that's going to be positive uh, 13,583. Let's enter that. 13,583. Check your answer. And we're correct. So, all right. So that's uh, assignment number eight and uh, I will uh, uh, I'll get uh, assignment number I'll be doing uh, a walkthrough of assignment number nine on Thursday.